In today's video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create flyers for social media. We're going to be using the app Canva, and I'll walk you through a little bit of what Canva has to offer for your social media platform advertising. So let's get started. So this is the front page of Canva, and as you can see at the top, it says design anything. Canva was created to be a helpful tool to help you create presentations, logos, um, posters, flyers, and now posts for Instagram, Facebook. One of the biggest challenges that people have when creating a post for social media is the sizing. So as you can see as I scroll through some of these, it gives you the sizing at the bottom. So this is a square shape. The Instagram stories, which is in a vertical mode, is a different ratio. Uh, Facebook is going to be different. A flyer is going to be different. So this is a great tool that allows you to create marketing pieces with already preset sizes and you don't have to worry about them. So we're going to go ahead and create an Instagram post. Now I went ahead and uploaded some images, just some simple marketing pieces. On this left hand side you'll see the media that I uploaded. And I just did that by grabbing my media on my desktop and dragging it there. So it's as simple as that. Or you can upload media from your Facebook or your device, which is your computer, your Dropbox, wherever you have photos. So that's the uploads area. These different suggestions and options here are for when you're editing your flyer or your marketing piece. But we're going to go ahead and start with a template. Um, it's the simplest way. It kind of already has an artistic you know, design to it that you didn't have to really think about. It's just something that's already pre-made and you can modify it however you see fit. And these are different ones that I kind of clicked on and played around with before I got started. So let's go ahead and click this one here. Now it doesn't say anything about real estate. Um, it's about a cooking class, but that doesn't mean that you can't modify it or change it to something that you may want to use. So let's go ahead and go to our uploads. As you can see, when I click on a section of the flyer, it highlights that section in blue. So the text here, even this little image right here, the text here, and all of this stuff you can modify. You can change the color right over here. You can change the boldness, the font, the size. All those options are up here at the top. The photos have these grids and this watermark because that's a photo that only you could only use if you are paying for Canva, but we're using the free version right now. So let's say I want to promote a listing and it's one of my listings, so I'm going to use my headshot. So I'm going to click on the image that I want to replace and the image that I want to use. So I'm just going to grab that and drag it and drop it right there. Now this is just a photo of a home in the Houston area. I'm going to select this second spot right here, select my photo, and drag it there. So now I've got my photo and my listing photo. On the left hand side, we can edit our text. Let's say it's 123 Main Street. Here we will change it to Open House. And this is just a little image that they included in this template. You can select it and then choose the trash can up here if you want to delete the element. And then that'll allow you to move the text around as well. And then right here, we'll change it to some contact info. For more information, email video at har.com. All right, so it's as simple as that. Let's say I want to change the text here. Um, I don't like the white. Let's do, you know, just black for that one. Um, this flyer had a little image of a leaf. Um, on the left-hand side, you'll see elements, and you'll see different elements or little stickers or drawings that you could add to your flyer. So since we're doing some type of open house, we're going to search for house. And you've got all these different ones here that you scroll over and you'll see that they're free. So let's do that one. All right, so as you can see, when I select an item, it's going to highlight it. So we're going to bring that down here, maybe right around the middle, because we're going to 
minimize this here. And the great thing about this program is it really helps you create an image that looks professional. So if I were doing this on my own without this program, maybe I'd stick this over here and it was off center. But you see these purple lines that are popping up are allowing me to place it in spots that make sense. So I want it to be in the center. We're going to leave it right there. Same for our text here. We're going to make it centralized. Now, like I said, when you know you're selecting something, it's going to be highlighted in this blue. Beige or this brown may not be my company branding color. So let's go ahead and change that. On the left hand side, you'll see this color here. Let's say my branding is like a navy blue. And it also allows you to change the color behind me. Let's do that to, in a black. All right, now here's our flyer. I mean, it looks kind of different from what we started with, which was this one on the left hand side. But you know, it's, it, it's pre-chosen text. It's got this little drawing here. It looks a little bit more professional than something I would have just done on my phone. So let's go ahead and choose another one just to get an idea of what these could look like. So here's a different one. It carried my text over to this template. Again, it has a photo of a cooking or recipe uh, behind it, but we're gonna change it. We're gonna promote our listing. All right, so it placed it back there. We're gonna change the color of this background here to our blue branding. And there it is. I can change the color of this border here to our branding color as well, or let's keep it in the blue scheme. Maybe that's too much blue. Uh, let's change it up to that gray, or even Let's do this orange here. You can change the text size. That open house was made really small. Let's make it a little bigger. And we can change that color to better match you know, what we have down here. All right, and then back here in the photo, it obviously has some type of filter. So it has some type of um, kind of black and white or monochromatic filter. So we can choose filters here and change that up. So festive, summer, no filter, make it a little brighter. We can do that here. All right, but when we do that, it kind of makes it a little hard to read. So we can go to adjust and it'll allow us to blur out the photo. So you can still see the listing in the back and you can see the text a lot better now because I blurred the photo. And again, you can adjust all that stuff right here. You can add a vignette to it, add some different effects, bring down the saturation. Maybe that saturation is a little too bright. Bring down the contrast. You can make all types of changes. All right. And now we've created another flyer. Again, these are very simple when you're going in and using a template that's already pre-made. So let's go ahead and choose something that we would possibly just promote ourselves. So this one here, let's say I just wanna promote my services myself as a realtor or as a video producer. We're just gonna replace that like that. I don't really like this element right here, so I'm just going to select it and delete it. And then this isn't really my color scheme, so we're going to change that to blue. The image has a filter on it, so I can go ahead and change it here or I can leave it as black and white. I can choose none. Or if I wanted to, I could have the background be something different, perhaps Houston in the background. And maybe that's too busy, so I can go ahead and go to adjust and blur the Houston background behind me. All right, and then 
I could delete this text. I put my name. Bring this up here. Put that there. So it's very simple, very easy to modify, and these are all just great options for creating different posts for your social media. And once you're done, you can go back home and you'll be able to see your designs here. So that's the last one we created. That's the one that's gonna be there. And again, they have a huge variety of templates that you can choose from. Say you want to wish one of your clients a happy birthday and make it a little bit personal. You can change the text here, Dear Mindy, happy birthday. And then you can put your contact information at the bottom. You can change the photo in the background to one of your photos. One of these Houston images. And there you go, there's something just a little bit more personalized, looks a little different from, but from what everybody else is doing, which is just posting on Facebook and saying happy birthday. Um, this is something that will make you stand out. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for tutorials that go up every week.